So today this is going to be part three of looking for the graveyard and this time I think I might have a better idea of where, I'm, where it is. It's in the general area I was looking at with a drone because I talked to a friend that had told me about where it was but I had confused which road it was supposed to be. So if you uh, recognize the area I'm in, this is the trail I walked with with the drone. And there is an old road driveway that runs along beside this trail. I'm just taking this trail as a shortcut to get there. Otherwise I'd have to walk around and then hit the road. So I'm just going to go this way and cut across to the road. So you see the railroad track up here. And the uh, road that we need to take is right on the other, right here, just along the side of the railroad track. And the trailer up here, the road run past it. Now, the way I understand it, we follow that road past the trailer. There's an old road to the cemetery or a path. So I'm going to see if I can uh, find that. If I can't, my friend says he's available. He can take me right to it and show it to me. So let's give this a try and see. I originally, I took a trip to see my son in North Carolina. So here I'm going to cut across to the road. And uh, got back a couple of days before Halloween. And I had planned on doing this little discovery on Halloween. But uh, it was cold as heck and I didn't really feel like getting out in it. Now I hope this road here goes straight past the trailer up here. Friends used to live here in a house and now there's a trailer there. I do believe it's empty now. And then the next day, the last three days, this is November 4th now, I've been sick. I don't know if it's a little 24 hour bug or what, but this is the third day and I figure rather than laying in bed and sleeping all day and all night like yesterday, I'm going to force myself to get out and do something and try to get to feel better. And I can tell I'm shorter of breath today too. Now I'm assuming this rail just goes straight past the trailer here. So that's the route I'm going to take, right along the railroad track. I could just walk on the railroad track, but I'll just go this route. Now he said it may be a clump of trees over there, but I don't think so. About 40 yards from where I was on that other path. If I'd have went straight, I would have come up to it, maybe. And it does look like this road does go. Or at one time did go on past the trailer here. Yep, there is a... An old trail looks like. I just worry about snakes. That's my biggest fear is snakes. Well, I understand it. It's a very small graveyard. There's supposed to be a couple of Confederate graves there. I don't know if we'll be able to tell by the whole st stones if we find them anymore because that's been a long time ago and I'm not sure I don't think it's in there I looked at that with the drone I didn't see anything but it is supposed to be in a clump of trees from the way I understand it
Uh, um, motorcycle helmet laying down there. A baby stroller over there. So I'm just going to work my way in here a little bit and see what I can find here. If not, I'll get my friend, bring him out here and we'll nail it down for sure. Now he said the old road to it was grown up quite a bit, but this field looks like it's been cleared out a little bit. so. It's hard to tell where the old road bed might be and where the path might be. It could be straight ahead of us or it could be in one of these clumps of trees I looked at with the drone and just didn't see it because of overgrowth. I see a pile of old tires. I'd see nothing that looks like a graveyard. I'm thinking I'm about 40 yards out from where he said on the video the other day because he said on the video I was within 40 yards of it. Or it was about 40 yards away from where I was at a time stamp. And I should be about in that distance I'm thinking. Well, let's check this tree up uh, up here. There's an old trailer here. Now, I don't think that's a trailer he was talking about. I think he was, it could have been. It was hard to tell from memory where it was. I'm not seeing anything up in there. And I don't see anything in here. It looks like no headstones. Because there are supposed to be some headstones. And I think that's way out further than 40 yards from where he pointed me in the video. It may be in this clump of trees back here. So I'm going to... There was supposed to be a path or a trail to it. Unless it's further back there. So, let's just go back by these trees I checked with the drone. Maybe I wasn't seeing underneath it. Looks like it could be a likely spot for cemetery. Overgrown. And if I have trouble, I'll have my buddy Scotty come out here and show me. <laughs> he did text me this morning saying he'd be available today. So let's just double check here. There's stuff around that light pole, but not headstones, I don't think. Okay, I don't like getting out in this tall stuff, but I see nothing in here 
no sign of a headstone anywhere through the brush or anything. Now look at one more spot and go up to that corner up there. And if it don't, if I can't find it, I'll just text my friend. He'll show us where it is. I'm kind of hard-headed. I like to find things on my own with no help. It'd have been easy just to get uh, Scotty, but. This is uh, really overgrown back in here. There's a tree stand. I see nothing that sticks out like a headstone anywhere. No, I don't think it's in there. Now is that a gate or is that an old piece of farm machinery up there? It's got me curious. I know I'm on private property right now, but I know the people so, it's, I'm sure they don't mind me doing this. Actually, I know one of the owners already knows that I've been up here looking for this. Okay, that's for feeding cows. And I understand it's not this far up the hill anyway. See one other spot that I have not really checked out right. And I'll walk by it on the way out. A little clump of glass grass tree between here and that trailer it could be the 40 yard mark he was talking about a couple other spots down there too because back there it would be way more than 40 yards from where he, he tagged the video I was on the other side of that trailer where he said I was on the trail. Which would kind of put it behind that trailer from the location he gave me. And I want to walk around this once a little bit just to make sure I didn't skip something from the other side. But the weeds are so tall, really can't see nothing if it's in there. But uh, looks like there was a trail up this way at one time. Wait, at the base of that tree, am I crazy or is that a headstone? There is. 
I have found it. There it is. It was this clump of, clump of trees. Just could not see it from the drone that well. But yes, there are several headstones right here. Uh, see if I can pull out what any of them says and maybe get a picture. Okay, this is it. Found it. And I don't know if this camera is getting that or not, but I'll get a picture of it and put it in the video. This is Virgil Otto, born January 5th, 1883, died October 17th, 1905. And looks like that was the base for this stone right here. Okay, I got, looks like two right here buried in the grass, kind of. Get these cleaned off so I can read them. A lot of moss and weeds covering over, so clean them up as best I can so I can see them. So these two, we got Freddy Otto, January 8th, 1878 to November 2nd. 1878 so this was a baby and Julius Otto August 19th 1884 to August 20th 1884 these looks like two baby graves and let's see this one Hedor Hector Otto born April 1873 died November 5th 1898 and there is the base for that one Now there may be more buried under all this grass and stuff. It's hard to say. But he had said there was a couple of Civil War graves here and a couple of uh, Clarks, I think he said. This one I can see nothing on. I don't want to really mess with it too much. Oh. <clears throat> I see no writing or marking on it anywhere. Oh wait, there is something on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to be readable or not. This one is a Civil War grave. If I can get it cleaned off enough to read it. I can't read the name totally. And it's upside down. But... Looks like C O N S G 
EQ Auto or EO or EC, it's hard to tell. I can't see, read all that. The Kentucky C A V Cavalry. I'm thinking Kentucky Cavalry. And I don't know if it's uh, Confederate or Union, but this has to be Civil War era. That could be can. Something 20T. So it's E something auto. I can't read that. But Kentucky Cavalry, I, I'm sure that's what that is. So, Civil War. has to be and just for the heck of it I'm gonna get a picture or two of all these before I take off maybe I can see something more in the pictures that I'm not seeing in the camera maybe I can uh, manipulate it to pull the letters out better with software so is there any more in here? These would have been... I can see why I couldn't see them with the drone. I had coverage overhead plus... I was looking for standing tombstones and these are not standing. Any of them are. Very old. God, I hate walking in this stuff. I don't like snakes, and this is Copperhead territory. I don't see anything else. It looks like a headstone, but of course they could be buried under tons of leaves if you're laying down years worth of growth here but we have found it I have found it I did fly over this right over this with the drone and both the people told me in a clump of trees was right oh I do see something in there right in there looks like a headstone yikes I don't like this not one little bit That's a tree stump back in there. Okay. This one looks probably the newest of the bunch that I've seen. This is May Otto. May 12th, 1911 to October 6th, 1916, so approximately five year old. A lot of uh, children's graves right here. So I never knew any autos growing up here that I can remember because this property back in here, when I was catting around as a young man, belong to the Clarks or the McDaniels. The Clarks lived in the house over there and McDaniels lived in the house about where that trailer's sitting over there. Went to school with all of them, friends with all of them. That's why I wasn't scared to walk across the private property because they are friends. 
and I don't think they would mind me doing something like this. If I don't, if they do, they'll let me know. So, <laughs> But they're real good people. Known them all my life. So I don't see anything looks like any other. Now I was told there was a Clark grave or two in here, but all I'm finding is Otto. Maybe the Otto's and the Clarks were related somehow. I would have to get with uh, my buddy and find out. And I do know that uh, at least one of them does know I was up in here because somebody had spoken to them about my video and they had no problem with it. They was like trying to explain where it was, basically trying to help. But, I'm finding nothing back in here that resembles a headstone anywhere, even moss covered. Unless there's something up in here. It would be cool to, if I had time, come back in here and clean this up and try to fix everything up the way it should be. You know, I don't know which way the graves are pointing, so I can't obviously fix those and right, but I would try to fix those, straighten everything up, clean out, show some respect. Uh, unless there's another headstone out in here, and I don't think so. Maybe if a diet guy came up here with a weed eater or something cleaned out, they might find more than what's here. But I did find, I have now confirmed, this cemetery does exist and I know exactly where it is now. And I did search right over the top of it with the drone. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six graves in this little plot. I don't know exactly, I've never heard how many are supposed to be here, I just heard there was supposed to be a cemetery back here. But everybody else I spoke to, except for one other person, says no, we've never heard of one, don't know of one. So, I guess the two friends that told me they did, there is, knew what they were talking about. They know more about there even me and several other people that's lived here all our lives. So I'm not going to video the walk home. I found the cemetery after this is the third try. I was hoping third time, or three, not two. I was hoping three would be a charm, and it was. And with the help, thank you, Scotty, for all your help. You led me right to the spot. I really appreciate it. So, and for Henry for telling me about it in the first place. So now we know there is a Civil War grave here. This cemetery is as old as the 1800s. Uh, the newest grave I found down here was about 1911. So it's uh, something that most people do not realize is here, I guess. And thanks for watching. Happy I found it. I wanted to do it on Halloween, but things didn't work out right. Figured Halloween would be a perfect time to find it, but uh, it's a few days late. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.